Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Minecraft 1.21, and we are standing here in front of our first base that we had put in while we were trying to capture the mansion that's up there on the hill. I had put together quite a little bit of spread here with all kinds of gardens and things like that, and I showed you in the last episode, but we did manage, as I said, to procure the mansion and I've been doing a lot, a lot of building, lots of building, <laughs> and I'm still, it's still a work in progress, still a lot of stuff to do. These little guys, they keep wandering around, they're kind of actually a little bit annoying. <laughs> We're going to have to eventually find a place for them, and place them there, and keep them there if I can. But they can be of a help, at least as far as getting stuff for you, like, well, whatever you throw them, they can bring back to you, so... That could be extremely helpful. But I'm going to go ahead and show you all the changes I have made. I've done so, so much. Have a lot of stuff going on with fishing planets, so I've been kind of messing around with this on the side. And I'm not sure exactly all that I've showed you so far, but I've managed to light up everything. I've planted as many of the different tree types as I was able to acquire. Even got some cacti. I got that from that wandering trader. Yeah, I've actually got this little area for my boats. I still have my freeze boots on. This is my little fishing area. I've got a bed here if I need to sleep. I also put another little boathouse over here as well. That way I can access the main river right here. Got a little bit of storage here. This is stuff I've caught while fishing. As you can see, i got quite a few things. I've got some fishing rods with some, some enchantments on them. I haven't got anything in there, but I've got a bed here if I need it. Yeah, this little guy's just going to follow me everywhere, I guess. Try to put as many of them in the uh, small base as I could. But all this right now is still kind of open. Looks like I've got a piece of mushroom left. I was doing a lot of clear cutting. Still doing it. Let me go ahead and get rid of that because that looks a little ridiculous. There we go. Didn't pick up any mushrooms from that, but anyway, I am going to show you all the work that has been done with the mansion. Now, most of the work I did was on the, the grounds itself. And all around here, I've seen a lot of wandering animals. There's been cows, there's been pigs, sheep, and I put a lot of them in the pens at first. And I decided to go ahead and build them some actual enclosures to make some sense. I also made all this lit up and easily accessible all the way around the structure and that took a lot of time. Heck of a lot of time. As you notice I've used jack-o'-lanterns to light up everything. I think over time as I accumulate other lighting structures I might replace that but for now that's gonna have to work. That'll keep a lot of the spawning down as far as the hostile mobs go. But once we get up here, everything's enclosed. 
and it's pretty safe. There shouldn't be anything bad spawning in here. Now here's the first tier, and on this level, I managed to flatten all this out and surround it with a wall so that nothing can come in. This is where I've got my pigs at the moment. I've got them a nice little enclosure here so that they can be comfortable and breed. And they've been breeding pretty quickly, that's for sure. I've been giving them lots of carrots. I don't think I have any carrots on me at the moment, but I've also been transferring a lot of stuff from down down in the base, that little base below, up to the main base in the mansion, which I'm working on constantly. But, every, like I said, everything is well lit. Everything's surrounded with a wall. Now, originally I had put the cows that I had up here, but I've cleared this out. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to put some kind of a waterfall decoration here or something. Maybe something similar to what I had years and years ago that had uh, kind of a diamond shape. Well, I'll have to work on it. I'll have to think about it. I want it to look good, though. I want it to be really presentable for this main structure here. And as you can see, I've got all of this walled off and well lit. Looks like we had an enderman drop off another block here. Had a lot of enderman bringing dirt blocks around here recently. But let me show you on the other side. That side's not as well developed just yet. This side is very well developed. I actually put like a little walk around right here. Not really a bridge, but sort of a, I don't know, elevated pathway, I guess. Has a great view, that's for darn sure. You can see all the way out there, you can see all the stuff I showed you earlier. And again, all this is surrounded with wall, everything is lit up. I've got the walls lit up with torches. I've got jack-o'-lanterns in the ground spaced evenly. Now this one here, this structure here, I'm very proud of. I actually had to go on the internet to do this. I had to go on YouTube. But this is a stable that I pulled off of YouTube. I like the design. This is where I've got my horse. As you can see, he's nice and comfy, cozy, and dry right there. In his golden armor. Haven't given him a name yet. And one of the things about this I thought was interesting is it called for using barrels, which I hadn't used before. And barrels obviously are good storage, just like with the chest, except you can place blocks on top of them. As you can see here, I've got in this barrel an uh, iron horse armor. I could store feed in here or anything else I need. It's a real nice structure. It took me a while because I had to sit there with my phone and watch how they built it. But I think it turned out really well. So eventually I can get more horses. And over here is where I've got my cows. Now this entire back area is just for the cows. I've got a little area here with some water for them and some hay. So basically they kind of, it's walled off, they can kind of keep the riffraff out. Mainly the, the bad mobs. Looks like our, our traveling trader is back again. There's one of his mamas. Yeah, I hear him. He's back there somewhere. I might have to see if he's got anything decent to trade again. I don't have any emeralds from him for him, though, at this point. But yeah, I've got this, and I've got this little 
tiered structure here going up. And this is where I have all my sheep. Now I have bred these naturally. I haven't colored any of them yet. And we've got a mixture of white and black and gray. And a little bit darker gray, it looks like. Quite a few of them. And just like the cows, I've got them a little enclosure here. So they can get out of the rain. A little bit of hay. And some water. Yeah, I use the cauldrons for the water. Obviously they don't need it, it just looks good. <laughs> Yeah, there's been a lot of work going on. I have done a lot of work on these grounds, as you can tell. I started doing a lot of work here. This is the back entrance from the stables. But at this point, I haven't done a whole lot. I've been clearing out some of the extra rooms. This this structure is so massive that I think I'm going to try to limit the amount of rooms, just make the rooms bigger. And I put pumpkins up there to try to keep it well lit, but I'm still a little bit worried about things spawning in here, so we're going to have probably some issues with some hostile mobs occasionally. I think I've lit it up enough, but that doesn't mean that I have. Now this here is my storage area. As you can see, it's massive. Started actually putting signs up, but this is where I've been keeping all the stuff that I've been collecting as I've been clearing stuff out. You know, oh, lots and lots and lots of old, dark oak logs, cobblestone dirt, stripped dark oak logs, I mean, all kinds of things. And. As I said, I've been trying to bring some stuff from down below up here into this area because eventually I want to get everything from down below up here and just kind of keep that area down there as kind of a stop-off point, not really an actual base. But really, I haven't done much else. I've just kind of built this area here so far and I'm working on it. I'm not sure exactly how to develop it just yet. But everything else is pretty much pristine if, as I found it. Now if we go over here, this is the grand staircase. Now I did do some work on this quite a bit. Sounds like I got a skelly somewhere. And I think I like I like the way I've got this set up. I better be ready because I think I've got a hostile mob that's spawn somewhere. But this again is how you get to the that area where I was showing you earlier in my main storage area. This is going to take a while. Like I said, this structure is so, so huge. Many, many hours of work here. It's been involved just to get this far. But there are some dungeons over here, and I think I'm going to actually utilize them. Try to get some hostile mobs to spawn in them and kind of make them my prisoners. And the only way to really do that is I'm going to have to go in here and take out the light sources. Eventually things will spawn in here. Yeah, once they do spawn, if you throw them something to hold on to, like a shovel or a helmet, they'll stay, you know, they'll stick around. There we go. Got our little prisons cleared out. Oh, 
All right. Yeah, every castle has to have some kind of dungeon. I mean... But other than that, I haven't done a whole lot. There are a lot of... A lot of rooms here. And lots of potential. But I wanted to get the outside taken care of first, so that I could easily come in and out and do the things I needed to do. I'm going to go ahead and get to morning here. But yeah, with Minecraft 1.21, there's been a lot of additions and a lot of things I want to do. One of those is they've added different types of wolves in different biomes. Apparently there's all kinds of varieties. Plus they've also added armadillos. I haven't even seen an armadillo yet. And I kind of like to get them. You can't tame armadillos, but you can farm them. Just like you can the pigs or the, or the cows. Apparently they have something called scoots. And you can take the scoots and make them into armor for your uh, dogs. Or tame wolves or whatever you call them. Yeah, that little blue guy is going to follow me. I can't... Can't seem to contain those guys. I wish I could make sure they stay in one location. I was going to try to build some kind of a room in the mansion that might be all glass so that I could put them all in there. But I need to see if I can't find some bones somewhere, because I really would like to be able to tame some wolves. That is one thing that I really wanted to try to accomplish if I could while I'm here. And I do know where some wolves are. It's a bit of a hike. Let me see. I might have some... Nope, I turn it into bone meal. Yeah, I'm gonna need some bones. Without the bones, I can't tame the wolves. Let me see if I have anything in this little base here. Yes, I do. I have five of them. That might, that might be enough. That might be enough. Yeah, see, I want to get all this stuff moved up into the main structure. I might even put all these feathers over here. Let's see, anything else? Oh yeah, I got all these totems of undying I can use. check out my armor because I think my armor is pretty beat up. I've had to take on quite a few mobs while I'm doing all the building that I did. Diamond helmets beat up pretty bad. I think I'm, I think I'm good though, honestly. Well, I'm not sure if it'd be easier to walk there or to go by boat. Might just take a boat with me in case I do end up needing it. I should be able to walk there just by walking across the water. Yeah, I don't have an extra boat. Let me go ahead and grab this one. We got us a wild sheep over here. One thing about having the fire is I can turn him into cooked mutton right off the bat. Let's see here. Yeah, 
if I walk this direction, I should be able to find some wolves. But it's a bit of a hike, so I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time traveling here, guys. So I will be back once I get to my location. Yeah, I wanted to go ahead and show you here real quick. One of the things I made certain that I did when I had explored down this river, I had placed plenty of pillars with torches. That way I could point out my... Interesting locations, basically. See, I got another one right there. But somewhere down here, I eventually run into a biome where there are wolves. Now, wolves can be found in all kinds of biomes now. It used to be just the uh, uh, Mega Taiga and Taiga locations. I do remember it's quite a hike, and there was a lot of birch forest along the way. And it looks like it splits off here. So I gotta head this way, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there's the... A... See, that looks interesting. Kind of like a natural bridge. There's more bees. sun's going down kind of fast. I wish I had brought a bed with me. That was probably not smart to do. But I think the wolves were over here. I think we're at the spot, honestly, because I think the river ends here. And there they are. They're right there. These kind of look like typical wolves to me. Let me go ahead and get them some bones here and see if we can't tame a couple of them. I want to get at least two. If I can get three, I'll be fine with that too. Let's see if we can't... Yep, we got him already. He's tame. Come on, guy. Oh, shoot. I only got one. I fed him three... Four bones, actually. Yeah, these look like your typical, typical wolf, honestly. I only have one wool left. Can't make a bed. Shoot, that's not good. So we're going to have to be careful, guys, because that means the things are going to start spawning. He'll follow us. Yeah, we may have to find us a skelly and get his bones. Tons of wolves over here, though, that's for sure. Yep, spider. Spider is not what we need, <laughs> and neither is a zombie. Yeah, the wolf is going to come to our defense. I cannot believe it took all of that. All of five bones, and he still didn't get tamed. Oh. 
Oh, I cannot find any skeletons. There's a cow. Okay, we got some sheep here. All right, we got three. We can make a bed now. We just need a Oh shoot, the wolf the wolf got hit. Well, I'll have to fix that. Okay. Zombie flesh helped him actually. Yeah, that was a little perilous for the little guy. I did not mean to hit him. He jumped right in front of me as I was taking that guy out. Oh, here's a creeper. God bless it, that wolf just keeps getting hurt. Ah, skeletons, finally. Not... Okay, did I get bones? Yes, I got four bones. That's good. Okay, he's the one that was with me. Let's see if we can't find another one. Oh, I hate those little creeps. Ouch. How in the heck did he get in the way of that? Amazed I haven't killed the wolf. Come here, wolf. Okay, now I got two of them. And now I have one. Jesus Christ. Okay, I am in the world of hurt here, guys. I think... Oh, <laughs> Where is that wolf? There he is. Good boy. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll let him take him down. <laughs> Ooh, it's a zombie villager. I still have four bones left. God, what is the deal? Cannot seem to get more than one wolf. I gave him four bones and he didn't tame. I want to... The one that's been following me, he's been fine. Shoot. Quite the adventure so far. We've had this wolf and I have been dealing with all kinds of bad things. <laughs> Mostly creepers. I do not want him to get blown up. Let's just head this direction, take the wolf with us. Got rid of the creeper. We're out of food. We're just gonna have to head on back. One wolf is gonna have to work for now, guys. Do not have enough bones to get any more. Yeah, I didn't realize I had turned all the bones into into ground, uh, bone meal to make my plants grow. So we're going to definitely have to go on a skelly hunt at one point. Alright guys, I am back and I think I went the wrong way, which is actually not a bad thing because I did manage to make my, make my way to a savannah. And a long time ago, I had placed a pillar to mark a site of, I guess, a special site or whatever. And I just found it. I couldn't find it before. Last time I was going through here, searched everywhere and completely lost it. Because I had gotten up to the top of the pillar and marked it and fell <laughs> to my death. <laughs> This could be a spot that we might be able to find. Well, armadillos is one thing. 
And maybe other types of wolves. I don't know. We'll have to see what's around here. But yeah, there was like a, a lava lava lake there. And there's the pillar. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if we're going to find any armadillos here or not. I really would like to find one. Because I'd like to give this guy some armor. I don't know how many scoots it takes to make one, but apparently you have to make a brush. And you can brush the scoots off of the armadillo in some sort of way and use that to make armor for your wolf. I know it sounds kind of crazy. <laughs> but that's Minecraft for you. Yeah, it seems like if they have savanna, they would have, you know, savanna type of animals like ostriches or lions or something. And I'm not seeing any wolves of any kind. Yeah, I was hoping to run into some different variants of wolves. But since this is a... 1.4 seed might not find them real close. I don't know. We'll have to see. seeing her chickens or sheep no wolf variants of any kind other than what I've already found hmm well we're back on the main river here we'll just have to walk down it and see where we can wind up yeah I did locate some more horses I didn't bring any saddles with me, though, unfortunately. Well, let's try to head back over here and see if we can't get back to our main base. Alright, guys, I am back, and check it out. We found ourselves some burrows here. <laughs> I would love to be able to bring one of these guys back. I'm going to have to remember this spot some sort of way. Well, let me see here. Let's check. Let's see, is it F3? Yes. Negative 7, 17, 69, negative 11, 36. And we did go ahead and make ourselves a bed, too. So we should be able to survive without any problem here. But yeah, I definitely want to get a burrow, without a doubt. That way we can breed those, maybe get some mules. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Why am I not freezing the water here? What's going Okay, there it goes. Well, we need to head this direction because I think that's how we're going to have to get back home. And I'm not sure what I did, but somehow I took a left turn at Albuquerque and ended up heading over towards Savannah. There are definitely splits in this river, and you can end up all kinds of different locations. Alright guys, I did manage to finally find the pillars with the torches on them, and once I found those, getting back was easy. 
Yeah, I don't know what I did, but there is definitely a split right where the wolves are located. And if you head to the right, you head back here. If you head to the left, you end up in savanna and many other different biomes. But at least I know that's where the burrows are. So if I decide to go back and get some, I am going to bring plenty of... Saddles and I think barrels is something else that I need. No, it's chests, that's what it is. That way we can tame them and maybe we can bring them back and breed them with the horses and try to get some mules. But we're getting close to our base at this point. It's a good thing too because it's getting dark. Our dog is still with us. He's just following us on the ice, just like I am. But there's... I can see the mansion already. So we are back. I'm going to take our... dog inside somewhere and... make sure that he's safe. Find a name tag and actually give him a name. We are finally home. And we're almost out of food here. Actually, we are out of food. We're almost out of health. Traveling on the water like this takes a lot of energy out. Alright, let's see what we can do as far as finding food, name tags, that kind of thing. As I said, I thought there were some name tags in here. Yeah, he followed us all the way. But he's just the Grey Wolf variant. I have not seen any of the others. There's apparently striped ones, spotted ones, all kinds of them. Just depends on the biome you're located in at the moment. Let's see here. He'll follow us. We don't have to worry about that. I think he went through the water. Yeah, our health is not doing great here. Probably gonna let them out, but I don't really care. Let's see. Let's start with start with Snoopy. I'm also going to give the horse up there a name. I'm trying to think what to call him. I'm calling Comanche. Since he's a Palomino horse, it seems to fit. Take our wolf back up here and we will put him in a mansion somewhere for now until we can find a suitable place for him to stay. And he'll phase right through those, those barriers. Here he comes, along with my other buddies. That 
Do I have any food in here? Well, let me go ahead and go to sleep. Set my spawn point here. see what we can do about getting him set up here. Let's just go ahead and make him sit there. That way he's safe. There's some skeletons somewhere. I don't know where they're... Might be on the roof. go. Now yeah, he's got a name. Now we just need to get some food. I think what I want to do is take out some of the cows here. I need some leather too. Gave us seven steaks. Better get my health up. It should help Snoopy's as well. He's back. He's back to full health. Yeah, let's go ahead and take him out here. I don't think I think it's kind of boring for him to be in here. Let's take him over here by the by Comanche and let him stay around the stable. Yeah, we're gonna have to build a dog house or something. Yeah, somewhere right around here would be good. Alright, that's a good place to let him sit. But anyway, we have, like I said, we've done a lot here, and all we need now to do is try to get his full wolf pack. See if we can't locate some armadillos. See if we can't get some of those burrows over here. That's going to be a trick. I have to get some leads for that, I'm sure. And some saddles. But I think I've got plenty of saddles that I've caught by fishing. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Minecraft. 1.21. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.